Performance Monitor is a great way to see what's happening on your server in real time. And by default, it's installed in Windows Server 2016. So if we open up our Server Manager, we can go to Tools, and we can go to Performance Monitor. Click on Performance Monitor. And we can see that it currently just shows the one processor time monitor, or counter, I should say. And it's showing how much processor we're actually using. Now, this matches up to the task manager processor as well. We can add additional processes to monitor by clicking on the plus sign. And in the upper left-hand corner, we see a general category. If we open up one of those categories, such as server, for instance, it expands and we can see some subcategories to monitor. So let's go ahead and click uh, bytes total per second and we'll click add. And let's scroll down to our pool paged bytes. Go ahead and click add. These are just randomly selected. Go ahead and click OK. If we decide we no longer want one of these monitors, we can just highlight it and we can click the X. We can also go ahead and highlight one of these counters and click on the highlight button. And it's going to highlight in a darker color so it's easier to see one of the particular monitors. And then there it is. So now if you have a lot of different counters on there, it's easier to see that one. Sometimes a counter is either spiked all the way at the top or it's always stuck at the bottom, so you don't really get a good idea of what's happening. So let's go ahead and double click on one of the counters. And here we can also change the color to something else that might be a little bit easier to see or separate from one of the other ones and click apply. And now we can see that color change. This, so we can change the scale. So what the scale does is if it's pegged at the top or dropped at the bottom, the scale will allow us to change the value so we can get a better idea of what's happening. It'll actually show traffic more in the middle. Now, in some cases, you'll have to go backwards and we'll click apply and see what happens. And we see it drops, in this case, all the way to the bottom. So that's not a good one to pick. So let's go the other direction and go to 10. So it measures in tens. And that one actually is pretty good. It shows us a little clearer idea of what's happening. We can also pause our counters in case we uh, want to do some other things or not have it use up our processor. And we can go to something called data collector sets. So data collector sets allow us to use, uh, instead of a graphical view like Performance Monitor shows us, it gives us more of a text view of things that are happening over a longer period of time. So let's go to user defined uh, collector sets and choose new data collector set. And we'll just leave the default name. And we can choose a manually created temp uh, or manually created setup or choose a template that's already defined for us. So let's just go ahead and choose a template. There's a lot of good ones in there. Let's go ahead and choose system performance and click next. This is the location where the file is going to be in case we want to export or send that file to someone else. Go ahead and click next. We're going to run as the default user, although if you need to, you can change that and run as a specific user. And then we're going to save and close. So there's our new data collector set. Let's go ahead and click Start. And now our data collector set for system performance is running, and it's saving that information, as I mentioned, as a text file that you can go back into and you can look at as a text file and send off to other people. You can also import that into Performance Monitor as well. We can also go into Reports. Let's go ahead and stop our collector set so it doesn't use up all of our hard drive space. And we can go to Reports and once again choose a user-defined report or choose a system report that it gives you some canned information. There's our new data collector uh, right there that we can choose to report on. And if we click on it, we can see a lot of the information. We see that it ran for 32 seconds. We have one CPU. It showed us our overall CPU load was good. It showed us our memory was not so great. It showed us 653 megabytes available. So this reporting is really useful because not only can we see this in a text file, but we can also see it as a report that's much easier to read. And if you want, you can look at CPU, network information, et cetera, just by clicking on the down arrow. And that shows us more detailed statistics. 
Performance Monitor is a great tool that you can use to monitor your server, and you can also use it to collect information on a new server that we can use as a baseline to check out our server as it changes over time, as we add applications to it, et cetera. We can see whether or not our server is going downhill in performance where it may need some sort of an upgrade. So that is a performance monitor overview in Microsoft Windows Server 2016.